am once again at the end of my list looking for anybody else to uh, check in. Kilo Foxtrot 7 Echo Tango X-Ray. Hope I'm doing that okay. I'm not sure if you're still talking or not. You were a little broken up there and then just kind of faded away. Uh, give that uh, one more try. Kilo Foxtrot 7 Echo Tango X-Ray David in Portland. This is my first D-Star Net. I've been listening to the net tonight and I appreciate you taking the call. Well, uh, welcome to D-Star. Welcome to your first D-Star Net. And uh, please uh, don't hesitate to join us uh, again. We're here uh, every Saturday night at 7 o'clock on 29 Alpha. So. Got a message from a friend, um, fellow YouTuber, comms prepper. And uh, we're going to try and do a little D-Star call D sign to call eight, sign. Seven. Um, contact. I know he's going to be uh, videotaping, and I told him if it was successful, I would do the same. So stay tuned. KF7DTX. All right, very cool. We're going to do a call sign, call sign D star. K1DOS, KF7ETX. How copy, Hank? KF7ETX, KF7ETX, and K1DOS. You copy the station? K1, DOS, KF7, ETX. Good evening, Hank. I copy you loud and clear. So we need a three-second pause at the beginning of Push to Talk and at the end of Push to Talk. So we'll try that again. Sorry for the crazy video. This is very, very impromptu. Good evening, Hank. I think, I think the trick for me was to step outside so we're using an ICOM ID 51 Alpha. We had them for a minute there. I am brand new to D-Star, so you guys, you guys are stumbling along with me here. Or I'm frustrating some experts that are watching. K7 ETX from K1 DOS. And I'm not quite sure what Hank is doing right now. If any of you follow his channel, it's uh, comms prepper I'll put a link down below he um, he just does some awesome teaching on his channel for ham radio and I know he's working on an instructional I'm pretty sure working on an instructional video so that's him calling right now hey Hank you're on uh, you're on speakerphone for YouTube all right so how are you hearing me on your end I'm getting some of your transmissions and then I'm missing some that's uh, that's what I'm getting alright I'm wondering if it's my location to my repeater I, I don't think so because I had a similar challenge with another guy in California Okay. we, we, we did this last night and it worked flawlessly I believe the challenge is on my end uh, because now I've tried three different stations to work this out and the challenge could very well be here at the house as well. Okay. And this is uh, analogous to uh, um, having another access point with a dongle then. Um, not exactly the same, but similar type process. It's similar to the, I think they call them DV Megas. Uh, there's terminal mode, which allows you to use the radio to directly interface to the internet. Yeah. But the radio also supports what they call access mode where you can actually use a handheld or another D-Star radio locally to connect to a radio running in terminal mode, I'm sorry, in access point mode, where that radio is connected to the Internet. Okay. So conceptually, if you live in a location that doesn't have any D-Star repeaters, you can set up a radio in access point mode as a base station, and then your subscriber handhelds and mobiles can talk to that radio over RF, and that radio would route you to the Internet to D-Star. Oh, that would be very useful. Yeah, I'm looking forward to trying it out at the cabin in West Virginia. Right now, I'm just trying to work out the, uh, the kinks with the terminal mode, and I thought I had this all worked out last night. All right, well, hey, I do appreciate it, David, taking the time to work with me here. Uh, I might try another few calls. So there is a learning curve on my part to see if I can get this worked out, but I think there's a whole lot of potential having this terminal mode and, of course, the access point mode in these new radios. I, I'd love to learn this, Hank. And I, I just uh, three things in closing. Number one, I'm a big fan of your channel, and I've learned a lot from you, and I just want to say thank you. And two, 
Um, I'm off tomorrow, so if, if um, you know if anything pops up and I can help out, text me. And um, I think just for people that watch your video or my video, uh, it's important to know the only way you learn this stuff is by practicing and working through the bugs ahead of time. So when you really need it, uh, the bugs have been worked out. Yeah, I think we'll figure this out. I appreciate you taking the time to work with me and thank you to your subs for supporting the channels here on YouTube and making all this possible. I mean, that's why we have these channels to help people learn. Exactly, exactly. Well, 73, my friend, and stay safe, and I look forward to talking with you again. 73 is David. Take care. K1, from K1 DOS, Virginia, over the cell phone. Well, Hank is awesome, and uh, for those of you that are hanging through on this video with it wobbling all over the place, I have uh, three devices in my hand. Um, that means you're a trooper. I appreciate uh, you hanging in there. Um, thank you for supporting my channel. If you're not a subscriber of uh, Comms Prepper, go check out his channel. Um, I, you won't regret it if you're interested in uh, communications and preparedness. Uh, he's a great guy and uh, a lot of good stuff to learn there. So anyway, thank you for watching 73 and I'll catch you on the next video. Oh, by the way, if you're not a subscriber, think about subscribing. Think about giving me a thumbs up. I know I'm going to get some thumbs down for the video popping all over the place and I apologize. Good night.